Hello guys, what is going on? So today we are talking about, what the hell is his name, Maylor? I think it's Maylor. I got him in the mail today, um, in my little inbox thingy, got 10 shards so we can summon him. I guess that's because I'm, I'm a YouTuber and they want me to go over the update. There he is, let's go ahead and summon him. Okay, there he is. Where is my awesome freaking golden ring that I would use for my thumbnail? It's not going to be there now, the entire video is ruined, we can forget. Where is, where is my ring? Okay, so we get no ring. Good job, Snail. Good. Gave me a defunct Maelor. I don't know how he's pronounced. Fuck off. Sorry. Really disappointed about this ring now. It's starting to thunderstorm outside, so sorry for any weird noise things going on. So here he is, Maelor. We have put him into our main dude hero. We still have an invisible mount, which is cool. Better than the weird freaking nightmare spawns that it usually is. With its head across the entire... Never mind. As always, first of all, taking him out into the open world and checking out his animations, checking out- Oh, look at this, our mount is back. And it actually looks freaking normal. First of all, we're going to get him to level 20 so we can uh, unlock his rare skill and all that and the rest of his skills. Just gonna get them up to level 1, doesn't really matter, just seeing what they're doing and such. By the way, the only other way to get Maelor at this moment is to buy him for $100. He is currently in the store here for $100, 10 shards, and 200 enhancement stones, which is kind of funny, because if we go to Trackman Pack, which is also $100, you get 80 Sun Wukong souls. I remember a while ago when Sun Wukong first came out, you could get 10 of his souls for $100. So yeah, if you want him, I would recommend waiting, not spending $100 on him. <laughs> and also, he'll probably be a timed hero soon. Uh, you can also get him in the points shop. But anyway, first, his normal attack. Another melee, melee type character, melee. He's, his attacks look damn cool, very smooth. The third combo there has a sort of sword dance swinging circlier killer blade dude going on there. But yeah, super sick looking, loving the animation here. So just going to check out his first skill here, let's see. Alright, that looked pretty damn ranged and that dude's head fell off. I am not sure if if that's supposed to happen or if that's special with this dude's, but his head literally fell off. Okay, we're gonna see what the range is on this. Alright, it's pretty long range as you can see, that guy's head didn't fall off unfortunately, maybe we can see that, nah, I don't know, maybe I was just seeing, no, there's his head, his head fell off, okay, uh, second skill, alright, second skill is a two part skill, didn't really get a good look at it, we're gonna do that again, alright, let's see, boom, and, okay, so the first part's dashing, second part is a little area of effect dance, and finally we have the third skill here, let's check it out, Oh my god, he, he, oh, whoa, alright, that's pretty sick, he transforms into a dragon or a demonic dude, whatever, I don't know what it's called, and he becomes ranged, uh, I didn't check out his other two skills, I'm gonna do that again when we transform, but that was sick. Well, before we go on to the third stage here on this thing, we're going to check out these first two normal skills so we don't overwhelm ourselves. So untransformed, it just adds a stack of demon fire. I don't know what that is yet, but I guess we'll learn that later. And also restores 50 points of rage, so that's pretty cool. And this one has a very short description, just sends nearby targets flying. So we're going to go ahead and try that again on some enemies here. Let's just uh, get this one. I could have sworn it was different before, but I'm not too sure. Like there was a dash forward and then something else. Wow, let's take a look at the description of this third skill. Not only does it fully restore your parry break, so if you're close to getting parry broken, use that and it's fully restored. And your magic attack and movement speed is increased by 50%. And if you do it with full rage, duration is doubled. That is crazy. Alright, so I'm going to get to full rage, be right back. Alright, we're at full rage now and it looks like we have a fan kind of stalking us, but that's okay. <laughs> we're going to go and go into full rage and just check out the skills here. So this first one, oh my gosh, that was insane. I mean, look at this dude, that is awesome. We're going to do the first one again, it's basically just, just a dash forward that leaves a trail of fire here. Dashes a certain distance, leaving in his wake fire that burns enemies. Take a look at the second one real quick. Ugh, I don't think I could see the entire second skill. But that was crazy, that was awesome. The rage does build up pretty damn slowly because you only get a little bit per hit here. And then the first skill just gives you 50. But it doesn't look like any of the skills actually cost any rage, so that's a good thing. So let's check out this skill again, uh, just to do the second part here. Alright, there is that part. Wow, did you guys see that? That was amazing. Uh, we can't do it again, unfortunately. Just do this one, I guess. 
But yeah, that's so cool when you can transform. That's so cool. Anyway, we're going to return to the city, put him in our second spot, and check out what his rare skill is doing. Alright, so we're back out in the city. Let's first read about what it's doing. And unlock it, of course. Alright, so his rare skill gives a huge debuff to enemies. Crit resist, crit reduction, and their damage reduction by varying amounts every second until the rare skill is gone. And this can go up to 30, 60, and 15% if you can max it out. It doesn't seem to say how long it lasts. We're gonna try and get into a harder area so we can actually hit them and see because I did it once and they had a, like a debuff aura around them so we can see how long it lasts basically, like not exactly. But, but you guys will get the gist of it. All right, here we are. Let's check it out. Boom You can kind of see it a little bit. I'm gonna stand still you can still see it there and I can still see it you can see it down here. Okay now it's gone So I don't know maybe I would say about five seconds or so which is a pretty long time in a battle I would say especially because it affects everyone in that area and I'd say it's a pretty strong debuff Maybe not the best rare skill there is and another thing I'm not sure of if it means 30 60 and 15% of their maximum stats or minus 30% off the stat, if you know what I mean. I mean, people late game can have like 200 to 300, 400% of some of these stats, like crit reduction. You can get crit reduction pretty easily and big amounts of it. So, so I don't know if it means 300 minus 30, so giving them 270, or really 30% of that 300 taken off, you know what I mean? I would assume it just means the 30% taken off of the 300 making it 270. In this assumption, it's not that powerful late game, but it still definitely can make a difference. Like if their crit resist was just a little too high where you can't land consistent criticals on them, this skill would really come in handy. And yeah, that's about all I'm gonna say about his skills. Let's check out his synergy. Okay, main hero's crit rate by his tier level times four. Very, very good main hero synergy, I love it. Uh, this is actually even more powerful than Orchids because crit rate is actually twice as valuable in terms of, of percentages than crit damage is. So if you were going to get 5% crit rate for something, that same thing, if it was crit damage, would give you 10% crit damage. Which means his is actually more powerful than Orchids is because hers was crit damage equals tier level times 6. About the characters needed for max synergy, Mimi is pretty easy. Panzel is also pretty easy. You can get him in the Blood War shop and he just needs the health anyway. Uh, over here we just have magic attack which is always pretty easy if you're going for it So I just need to take Phoenix and striker and give them some gear and that would do fine and then down here uh, Also pretty easy farmable easily farmable Mimi is a little bit harder I guess but still pretty easy to farm and wrath is also easy I already have two of them and let's check out our Mimi here Mimi is halfway up to purple plus one, so I could have it decently soon if I was really going for it. But yeah, Synergy isn't so bad. I would say not as easy as Orchid, but still definitely doable. All in all, I would rate this character up out of op because it is a timed hero. Obviously, they all have to be pretty damn strong, much stronger than your average hero. And just that dragon transform, uh, I'm still kind of blown away by that. That was freaking sweet, man. What I probably don't go over enough is the actual multipliers on the skills that tell you how strong they actually are. And we never actually figured out what demon fire does. Okay, now we know deals damage to affected enemies every second for five seconds, max five stacks. But I'm not sure how the hell you could do this more than once since I think this is the only thing that gives you... Okay, now this has a completely different meaning here. That's weird. Before it just said knocks enemies off. Okay, this one also inflicts demon fire. Also restores rage. What the hell? Continuously press AB to break free of control? Huh? There's... What the... the AB? I'm kind of confused right now. I don't know if there's some bug with this character, but I didn't have Hell Whirl. I had a different one. I'm going to put him back on for a second, check out that second skill a little bit more because I'm kind of confused about it still. Okay, so now we have this skill. We're going to go ahead and check this out. This was the skill we had at first, but then I think after transforming and then untransforming, we had the other one. So let's check this out. Alright, so this is this one. So yeah, I remember that one, but let's transform and then see what happens then. So we're gonna go ahead and transform, and then this is the one we actually kept. So we did that, and that's the second one. Looks freaking badass still. <laughs> but um, now when we untransform, okay, it's still here, which is weird. If you guys go back in the video, you'll notice even while I wasn't transformed, I still had that second transformed skill. I'm not sure exactly why. 
if that was a bug and it just stuck there for no reason or if it if there's some trick to getting it to stay like that i don't know regardless i think the normal second skill is better not the transformed one because the transformed one doesn't give you rage back it just knocks enemies back and its description is just sends nearby targets flying which is really weird so i guess it could just be a bug in the system i'm not too sure but yeah i guess that will go ahead and do it for this video it's uh, been pretty long now i guess uh, of course, you know, after editing, everything always gets shorter, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.